How's it going everybody? This is Craig Bush Rocks. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been checking out my channel, check it out, subscribe. I'm doing videos every day. But today we're going to talk about 10 albums that I've I picked up in the past couple of years that I really like. So have it be like a top 10 album. You know, I got a bunch of albums. I've got probably about over 100, 200 albums I bought in the past few years. And I just pulled out 10 of them that I really like and thought I'd show i share them with you and, and show you what which ones they are and there's no in particular order but we'll start off with the first one and that is bloody wood rack shack good old hard rock rap rock but it is an awesome album I believe it's like a bass like an india type music you got your grungy heavy music into it and you got um like a, a rap to it in the, in the music but it's a political album i believe there's a, there's a lot of political uh, tones in the album but really awesome album you guys get a chance to check it out bloody wood awesome album i i found these people found these guys on youtube just happened to look up music and and Bloody Wood popped up on their U on uh, on their YouTube page and got to check out some of their videos and like, ooh, wow, like oh, can't say the names like Dana Di Dana Dan is a great song, but yeah, check them out. Bloody Wood, get on YouTube, look them up. You you find them pretty easy on there. Next one is Def Leppard's new album. I was happy that they came out with an album. They went on tour. I missed them on tour, which okay. But they did come out with an album, Diamond Star Halos. It's a it's a it's a good album. I like it. It's grown on me quite a bit. I've listened to it. Um, anytime I play music, you know, whatever I'm at work and I play some music, I play this one a lot. And I've grown to like this album quite a bit. Fire It Up's a great album. <laughs> All We Need's a great song. Uh, Angel. Yeah, I'm still waking up, but Unbreakable's good. It's a good album. Def Leppard. They've been around since the 80s. <laughs> I've been listening to them for a long time. It's one of my favorite albums was Hysteria. That was a great album. Pyromania was great. <laughs> but yeah, new Def Leppard album. And that same note, which is awesome, Dave Mustaine came out with a new Megadeth album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. And this album really rocks. It kicks pretty heavy. I mean, right from the beginning, the sick, the dying, and the dead. Awesome. Night Stalkers. I think that's the one with iced tea on it. Um, it sings on that one, I believe. But, yeah. Epic album. If you like Megadeth, get the new one. Okay. Then we got um, a pretty sweet album. I hope they make another one. K.K. Uh, Downing. and um, This is K.K. Priest. This has got Tim the Ripper Owens and K.K. Downing, a former guitarist from um, Judas Priest and, and, the, and, you know, the vocalist. Yeah, not K.K. Downing, but Tim the Ripper Owens. He sang for Judas Priest on a couple albums. So they came together and they came out with K.K. Priest. And this album is <clears throat> pretty heavy. If you like uh, Tim the Ripper Owens singing, he did an album with Iced Earth. Um, he's done all kinds of projects. He's, he's all over the place. Just look up Tim the Ripper Owens and you'll see all the albums that he's, that he's done. And this is just one variation of all uh, work that he's done with someone. And that, that's this one right here. And brothers, <laughs> brothers of the road. Awesome. Metal through and through. Awesome. It's, it's a metal album all the way. Check it out. KK Freeze. That was Happy to see that Iron Maiden came out with a pretty sweet album. Since since, uh, since you, whatever you want to call it, it's like a Japanese uh, um, Japanese based story on, on this one right here. I bought different variations of this album. I even got the vinyl now. This is pretty sweet. This is just my regular CD version of it right here. I don't know. I've been listening to all the Iron Maiden albums. I went through every single one of them in the past year and a half and went through all every single one. And I like their music and a lot of it's a story, a lot of it's like story based uh, albums and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's great. 
but pretty cool. Iron Maiden. Next one is a Beer Factory Aggression Continuum. Industrial rock music, I guess you can call it. I remember, um, I don't know if it was Need for Speed or one of a game I got to hear Fear Factory on it. And I remember them doing a remix version of Cars. <laughs> that was great. But that, that early days of uh, Fear Factory really got me really liking them. And I have been trying to get all their albums. I think I got every, I guess I got all of them now. But Recode is a great song on this album. If you guys get a chance to check it out, Recode's good. Um. They did a remix of this album, too, I believe. So I've been listening to online on my music thing there, and I noticed they did a like a remix of, of some sort. Uh, Collapse is good. Disruptor is good. Purity is good. Monolith really awesome song. Yeah. Fear Factory. Huh. I got these two in a row right here. My buddy Dale Thompson collaborated with some people and made music, of course. I listened to Dale but this band, uh, the primary members of this band, Brian Carmen and uh, Mokma, uh, they're 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 in Holland, Michigan. But this is uh, we are resolute. I love this album. Uh, Dale helped sing on this album right here. There's other couple people singing it. Brian's daughter, I think, sings on this one. But uh, Chaz uh, sings on this one. But Pretty sweet album. I like the first one. This was the second one. I, this is a good, This to me, it feels like a good old-fashioned hard rock album. And it's it's hard to find something that has a good old-fashioned hard rock feel to it. And that's what I always liked about their, liked about their music. And hopefully they continue on doing that. And, man, it's a great, it's a great album. <laughs> it's like Heaven's a Good Song, Three Days Later the ways only humans it's a you guys get a chance to check them out this will be on um rocksproduction.com so if you get a chance to pick them up support the artist and dale did um Re reconciled skin and bones another really hard rock and heavy album i like dale's vocals in this one it's right up there uh, Falling by the Wayward, uh, to Burn Skin and Bones, awesome song. I Give It All, uh, Feet of Clay, same thing, rocksproduction.com, Reconcile. This is a, yeah, I like that cover. See what the inside looks like of this one. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. I'm going to say it's Dale Thompson and XL. So um, Dale Thompson collaborated with XL. Awesome. This is a great album. I might I might listen to this one tonight when I'm uh, when I'm at work. I'm going to pop that one on and check it out. It's going to be fun. This is kind of like a newer release one for me. Um, I've heard of the band, just never really checked them out. Boy. I'm going to get mo more of these CDs. I got all the albums <clears throat> on my music program, but I like to support my artists and, and I'll buy the physical, physical discs and try to support them that way or find the, if they got an MP3, I'll buy the MP3. And this is one that I did buy the MP3 and the CD. I, I went on Amazon music and just bought it, but primal fear metal commando. Holy crap. Found out the guy that sings on this one was going to um, try to get into Judas Priest, and they didn't take him, so he made a band called Primal Fear. This is back in the 90s, and boy, they came out with a lot of music. This is a great album. This is, ah, isn't dropping my CD on the carpet floor here. So this band's been around for a while. I mean, quite a while. So, I am going to order some more CDs. There's some rare ones I'm going to get. Uh, believe me, there'll be videos in the future of that. But, I Am Alive is a good song. Along Came the Devil, awesome song. Uh, let me see. Raise Your Fist. 
awesome song. <laughs> yeah, this whole album from the beginning to the end. Hard hitting rock album. I like it. Primal Fear. Next one is Manimal Armageddon. This one is a YouTube find. Another one I just love the singing in it. I like the screaming and stuff like that. I like screaming vocals of songs that sounds good. I like that that's really awesome. This is what this is Manimal. Really, really hard song. It's a hard album. But one some songs that are on there. The Burning Hell's good. Armageddon. Forged in Metal. Yeah. Chains of Fury. Evil Soul. Good so good good album. Insanity. Oh man. Path to the Unknown. Yeah, if you guys get a chance to Manimal. The last album I'm gonna show you is a uh, Parkway Drive's new album, Darker Still. I've always liked the the beats and the and how heavy this this album is, and I like the, the the growls that this this guy can do. Man, it's it's a great album, and it, it just got that beat where you could just headbang to. It's like yes. I like that. It's just it's great. I love to see these guys in concert. Parkway Drive. If they were coming to town, I'd love to see these guys in concert. It's like here's the actual album without the slip cover. Let me see. Open this up. No, no cool pictures. Um, <laughs> just that with along with the the vocals and stuff. I like their previous album, and I got their live album. This one, see, Ground Zero is awesome. Napalm, Glitch. If you guys get a chance to see the video for Glitch, it's pretty sweet. The Greatest Feel, Darker Still. A good, slow, melodic feel to it. It gets heavier and heavier, and it's it's great. Um, Stranger, Land of the Lost is great. I like that, too, because it's got that. Land of the Lost, Land. Yeah, just really cool. It got like a little epic, slow feel to it. So, yeah. If uh, Soul Breach, if uh, uh, Imperial Heretic, it's a good, awesome, heavy album. Guys, get a chance to check it out. But that's 10 CDs from the past few years that I, I like. I got more CDs here I like to talk about. Look at this. Another stack, and I got another stack over there I'd like to talk about sometime. But this is my, just 10 so far that I really like. You know, what you think of the video? Give me a thumbs up if you like this. If you like any of these bands, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like any of these bands, you know, you can always give it a thumbs down. But subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and um, share the video with anybody else, and, and comment down below. And I'll see everybody in the next video. And who knows? Maybe I'll do a. Oh, oh, no, nah, I'll think about that one. Maybe a top 10 rap albums that I bought in the past few years. And I only bought a few of them. Maybe someday I will. But other than that, catch you later. Bye.